On this episode of TFO Truck, we're gonna answer this question once and for all. Does a truck topper actually help you with aerodynamics and fuel efficiency, or does it hurt you? I'm gonna be using this truck. It's a 2004 Ford F-150. I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way. V8 power, four-wheel drive, with a lift and beefy tires. Of course, I'm running in two-wheel drive on the highway. I'm gonna do one loop with no truck topper. Then we're gonna add it on and do the same exact loop and figure out at the pump. Am I saving fuel or am I using more fuel with a truck topper? Let's do it. All right, let's fill up this truck and uh, do the first loop. In case you're wondering, 85 octane, uh, we have it here in Colorado because of higher altitude and elevation. Uh, we get lower octane just because the way it mixes, of course, with the lack of oxygen up here. But, I'm using basic fuel. This is a very basic engine. It's a 4.6 liter V8 in this truck. And yeah, it's a traditional truck, but there are multiple schools of thought on this. The truck topper actually makes the truck maybe a little bit more aerodynamic, so on the highway, it may improve fuel efficiency. But the truck topper also weighs quite a lot and maybe it decreases efficiency. So that's why I wanna do this loop as closely as I can on the same route and show you guys what happens. Dang, this truck has a pretty large fuel tank. It was almost empty. Uh, right now I'm at about 23 gallons. And uh, yeah, the bigger the tank, the better for a truck, always. And especially when you're towing or hauling heavy loads. I'm gonna top off just once, make sure everything settles down. I'm not gonna overfill it. We always just do a second click and that's it. This truck is very simple. I have almost no options. It's an Excel work truck. And I do have one feature which I'll be using. It's cruise control, yes. Uh, but I have no tack. I really have no trip meter to tell me exactly what fuel efficiency I am getting or not getting. Uh, but we'll check it at the pump, of course. And let me reset my trip meter. It's broken. Oh, no, 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 no. We using GPS? We'll be using GPS. We're using GPS. <laughs> We're using GPS because my trip meter for mileage is not quite working. I'm going to be running this test at 70 miles an hour and I'm using GPS um, for a precise speed because these tires are actually 33s. Uh, they're different tires than originally came on the truck, so the speedometer is not quite calibrated. So, look at that. I'm going 70 miles an hour exactly, almost exactly. And once again, about 4,900 feet above sea level, about one mile high. So that's our life here in Colorado. So I'm gonna go about total loop length of about 45 miles about almost 50 miles and uh, show you the result. All right, so I just reached our turnaround point and I'm just gonna turn around on the same highway and head back. So we're kind of canceling out any wind effects or effects of how the highway is actually you know the profile of the highway up and down so should even out nicely and it's we're gonna go to the same exact pump figure out exactly how much fuel we used on this stretch So about 53 miles according to GPS precisely and about 53 minutes. So although my 
uh, cruise control was set at about 70 miles an hour with a couple of little slowdowns and turnaround. Um, average speed is about 60 miles per hour, which is a pretty much your normal highway road trip speed after making some fuel stops, right? So let me get to the pump and actually get the number with no topper. There you go, we went almost 54 miles, so that's the number I'm gonna be using based on GPS for our route. Since we've used this truck on our no payment needed series, I predict based on 54 miles, about three gallons. Let's see what we get. Whoa! Once again, I'm gonna top off but I think my guess was just about right. Let's figure this out. Oh, check it out. 2.971. All right, let's calculate. 53.96 miles divided by 2.971 gallons equals, whoa, 18.16. So let's keep the two decimal points on this, 18.16, and compare to what we get with the topper. But by the way, current truck, brand new trucks for 2021 and 2022, this is a good number for those trucks too. So this old girl with a lift and big tires can still manage pretty good efficiency. All right, I need to limber up before we uh, lift the, uh, what, the 200 pound uh, topper. Okay, okay. Start doing yoga classes, Andre. <laughs> TFL yoga coming up right next. Like a glove. It's as if it was meant for it. All right guys, the topper is completely attached to the truck. This is an eight foot bed. And this Lear is actually pretty high quality. It's got padding and a little bit of carpet on the inside, windows. So it weighs approximately, I would say up to about 200 pounds. So it's quite heavy, but maybe it'll provide aerodynamics and efficiency. Let's go find out. Just to make it all fair, I'm gonna top off. We went to the storage place and I got back here. So in order to make it fair completely, I'm gonna top off and then we're gonna get on the highway again. Once again, gonna be using the same speed, same route, about 54 miles and I'm going to set my speed by the GPS. Here's, here it comes, the moment of truth. Really, I have no idea. It could be the same, but could be better, could be worse. What do you guys think? Let's see. We know that about three gallons when the topper was not on this truck is what it took. But right now, about the same traffic patterns actually. About the same time, the average speed was about, once again, 60 miles per hour overall. Ooh. Uh. Well, that could be almost the same, actually. Let me top off like I did the previous time, obviously, to keep it all identical. <laughs> if my memory serves me right, I think it's almost the same. 
The distance according to the GPS is 53.96 miles. This time it is 2.954. 2.954 equals. Dude, we picked up one tenth. <laughs> 18.26 versus 18.16 so what's the result well it's basically the same so i think any advantage to the aerodynamics of the truck topper may have been subtracted by the added weight of the said truck topper there you have it i cannot do it any more scientific than this and as always go back to tfltruck.com for all the latest news views and real world Chopper versus no topper versus no topper reviews. Oh boy.